Hi guys, it's Angela with Andy Styles Boutique and welcome to our channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you are a repeat viewer, welcome back. If you are a subscriber, mwah, mwah, mwah. thank you guys. Thank you for rocking with us. We really love you. So I am actually on a layover and I wanted to do a really quick video because I am crafting while I am on my layover, but I wanted to just talk about some safety tips, things you can do if you decide to uh, do rhinestones and blinging out items. Um, before I get into that though, uh, if you like what we do here, please accept our invitation to subscribe to the channel. If you know someone that would benefit from our channel, please uh, share the uh, video with them and the channel. And then the other thing is if you like this kind of content, please hit the like button so I'll know whether I need to keep going or not. So. The craft that I'm doing while I'm on my layovers is blinging. I'm doing rhinestones. I'm blinging out Starbucks cups, Starbucks tumblers. This is one of my latest creations. I uh, love doing it, had fun doing it. But um, I have carpal tunnel. So, and it's not from crafting, it's from doing um, 20 plus years in the IT business. And if you follow this channel, you also know that I am a hairstylist, I own a salon. So having said that, I'm using my hands a lot, I'm doing repetitive motions and so on and so forth. So if you guys are thinking about rhinestoning or if you do rhinestone, my suggestion to you is to take and get you a, um, wrist sleeve because what it does is it removes the pressure that your bones feel my hands when they start tingling or whatever i put this on and i can stone anything i can rhinestone the heck out of something but before i knew to do this i would just try to suffer through it my hand would start tingling and i'm like oh you know just trying to get that out and trying to you know massage it out or whatever and very little helped me um do that until i got this and then i was able to just continue you know stoning or whatever so to get this cup this cup started out like this. This was what this cup looked like before I got started. So some people will prep their cup. I don't prep these Starbucks cups. Probably should, but I don't. And I, don't, I, I can honestly say I haven't seen a big difference in whether I prep it or not. But if you want to prep your cup, you want to take some sandpaper and just lightly scuff it up, wash it. You know, let the remove all the sandpaper grit and then start stoning. The method that I use here uh, is called the scatter method, and the reason it's called the scatter method is because you take and you basically scatter the rhinestones out into a pattern that fits, and that's basically what I did here. The other thing is your tools. I am using the crystal katana. Uh, let me show you. Um, using that i purchased it um to see how i would like it it gives you length it gives me a little more length and then you want to get something to put your beads in so i have this i got this from the blinging bluebird this crystal katana is from uh krista ninja she's actually on facebook instagram youtube yeah, you can find her there and um, look at her page and stuff. She does a lot of blinging. She blings out big items. You name it, she's blinging it. But anyway, I wanted to try her um, her tool to see how, it, how I liked it. It was okay. Uh, it allowed me to pick my, my beads up. The only thing I don't like about these ones is that you have to keep you know doing this to sharpen. I'm actually at a point to where I'm going to order another tip because this one isn't a fine point tip like it started out, but I have been using it. So that makes the difference as far as what you see here, but it is a good tool. It's a, it's a, a little more expensive than your normal rhinestone picker up tools, but I do like it. it. It fits in my hand. That's the other thing you want to think about as far as safety with this. You want to make sure that the tool you use it has a good fit. It feels good to your hand and then your reach. Of course, posture, posture makes a difference. So your reach, you're going to reach in, grab your stone. Oh, don't drop it, but reach in, grab your stone. 
and then hold your uh, cup at an angle where you can just place it on there, all right? So there's that. The other thing is your glue. So this is the glue that I use on this cup. It's called Super Tight. It's really good. I really like this glue. Um, but for your, some people will use the smaller bottles um, to put their glue on because when you're when you're rhinestone and you don't want a big glob of glue, you want to do you know small manageable sections with your gluing. But um, this one here, I just shake it down and I just put it on at an angle. Guys, it may sound small, but it does make a difference. The angle that you, your posture, how you sit, how you reach, you know, um, having things within arm's length. You'll build your speed up. This isn't a, a, a craft where you speed is key. You'll build your speed up as you continue to do this, but your angling, your reach, you know, you want to make sure your posture is good where you're sitting back. You also want to make sure that you're not reaching over, you know, bending um, the incorrect way. And you want to make sure you have your, your item in your hand, you know, moving it as you, you know, complete it. So these are very important uh, tips that I wanted to share with you because you will, the, the better your ergonomics is when you're crafting, the more longevity your body has with doing something that brings you joy and doing something that, that you love. The rhinestones that I use is these ones from Ble uh, the Deco Craft. Hold on, can you see it? Yeah, it's by the Deco Craft. So um, I'll try to put, a, I'll try to do links. This is a short video, so I may go ahead and try to do links. Uh, but um, this is a pearl rhinestone mix. Go check them out. They have a lot of good uh, stones. This one says 2,000 pieces. So if you're going to get a 2,000 piece bag, um, you're going to need, it's going to, it took one and a half of these to do this cup. So they also have uh, quantities of 5,000 pieces. So I would just go ahead and opt for that. I was going to look and see. This is my rhinestone keeper bag. Um, let's see. Hold on. I'm just going to show you. This one is the one. This has 5,000 pieces. So if you're going to do a Starbucks cup, this is the Grande. Um, so Grande, you're going to need one and a half of the 2,000 or either you can do the 5,000. I haven't, I don't know what the stone count is for a venti. I'll do a venti cup. I haven't done one yet, but I will do a venti cup and come back and do you, give you an update on how much it takes or how many, uh, not stone count, but I'll tell you as far as packaging. All right, so guys, hopefully this was uh, some good information for you. Like I said, posture, you wanna, your reach, you wanna consider your reach. I use the big bottles of glue because the tiny bottles, to me, I have to apply more pressure to get it out, and especially with the little needle, but I just apply enough and I work in manageable sections. So as you can see, the cup doesn't have blobs of glue hanging all out. The, cl the cup is, um, you, the rhinestones is the star of this cup and that's what you want. Um, yeah, so. I hope you guys are doing some amazing crafting. Um, enjoy yourself. Enjoy your life. Life is short. Take care. And until next time, happy crafting.